Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a Laravel admin template that I put together. So this template uses Laravel admin LTE version 3 and it uses uh, also Laravel live wire. So in case of a project where you're going to use Laravel live wire and you need an admin dashboard, you can just use this. So it has all the starter sections you need for a dashboard. You have the sidebar that has these uh, these menus, just like in Laravel LTE. Uh, it has a top bar. You can also add some stuff to the footer in case you want. Have the messages, notifications. Then someone can click here to go to their profile or to log out. Yeah, so let me just show you. How it works so everything that we that we need is in either app live wire folder or in resources views then live wire so this is where the components for live wire are, are made so we have both we have some simple login and and register register logic uh, so if i'm to log out here let me log out is just this home that's a default for Laravel but when you come to login you have this login login screen then if you go to register so you have this so I can just create a simple user you say user 5 at example.com oh this is supposed to be user 5 and then the email goes here and I'll just want to up to eight up to eight and I register so if I register I can come to my dashboard and I'm my dashboard so you find all these sections and you can customize them so for this sidebar it is in a component called side navigation and this is its view the component itself is also called side navigation which is this so you can come and put all your logic here and then for the top bar this top bar here is in a component called top navigation so you can customize it you can customize this in whatever way that you feel like it also has its uh, uh component which is this so in case you want to write any logic you can put it here and then for the footer this is the the component for the for the footer alongside it view which is this right here so this is pretty much it in case you want to use it i'm going to leave the github link in the description so in case you have a project and you just want to start off right away without a lot of compilation you can just use this uh, maybe before before i end uh, if when you come if you want to know the theme or to find locate the, the the files for the theme just come to public and then theme this is this is the folder in which everything doing concerning with the uh, admin LTE is we have this this folder and then you have the plugins where you have different uh, different packages so we can see we have sweet alert too we have jQuery we have bootstrap we have moment so in case you want to add or subtract you can just come to this plugins folder and do so you have the disk that has the the css for the for the theme to the admin lte so in the assets folder in case you want to add some custom styles you can just come here or custom javascript you can just come to these files add your code there or you create a you create another file but if you create another file, then you must come to app dot uh, app dot blade and import it right here. So talk about app dot blade. This is uh, the default template that is rendered within a component. However, I also have a guest dot blade template in case someone is not logged in. So if someone just comes and uh, they're not logged in, this will render. But once they log in, it is app dot blade that will be rendered alongside your 
your component. So everything is uh, listed right here. I can make this bigger. Remove that. As you can see, we're importing C, import all sum, and all that. So everything, like I said, is located in the sim folder. But for custom code, it is in the assets folder. So you can, in case you don't like how this looks, you can just customize it because it is pretty easy and straightforward. So here I am, I, I am importing the, the the navigation footer. Above I'm importing the top the top navigation and the side navigation. So maybe if I am just comment this out, and I refresh my page, you'll see that the, the, the dashboard is gone. So it is that easy, and uh, we are also using uh, we are using Vite. So Vite is listening and uh, listening for changes. So when you, when you make a change and save, it automatically refresh, refreshes our page. So if I uncomment the sidebar and I save, it will automatically uh, render the sidebar. So it's kind of similar to if you're using let's say React or View or any other front-end framework that has reloading or live reloading so this is it for this video i will leave the github link to this project in the, in the video description otherwise uh, i'll see you in the next one